What's going on here? Shouldn't you people be in class? Well, it's like this, Mr. Furlong. Casey here, he thinks you're an alien. <laughs> really? The whole faculty, actually. Is that true? Casey. The, uh, the thing I found yesterday, where is it? I sent it to the university. Do they know what it is? Look, sorry to impose and disrupt, Mr. Furlong, but be kind of take your seats. This will be over quite quickly. Now sit down! Ah! 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 Put him the fuck down, Furlong. This is for the best, Zeke. Ah! Ladies and gents in Cyberland, coming back to you with another film review. This time we're doing a sci-fi film. The faculty. So I saw this film. Uh, my good neighbor, uh, Mike, let me. Uh, he let me borrow the film, and. Uh, he just said, you're going to trip out about the end. And I was like, oh, okay, we'll see. And lo and behold, watched it, and it, I, I was tripped out by the ending. Didn't know what to expect, but it was a great film. I loved it. Faculty is, is, a, is a great film of the late 90s, early 2000s. And the film is just about a bunch of um, six students who have kind of don't really fit in or they do fit in but they feel out of place within that group that they're a part of and Elijah Wood's character notices something about um, the teachers are acting kind of off even one of the other students who's a football player starts to notice it too and little by little the school starts to get taken over by some type of alien some type of um, kind of like a, a I wouldn't say virus but a uh, kind of like a slug kind of thing 
and the student, the whole town eventually gets taken over, and these students are trying to find a way to to uh, kill the aliens. They realize that there might be a host or something that controls everything, and that's how they shut it down. And little by little, they are trying to survive, not get killed, and also deal with not becoming infected themselves, becoming one with the rest of every um, the hive mind or how everybody else is infected by the alien. And that's pretty much it for the film. Um, it's very straightforward. There wasn't really any twists and turns. It was just kind of like, you know... Uh, it was just entertaining, but it, but it was sci-fi slash horror. Um, for me, Jensen's in here, Josh Harnett, Elijah Wood. Um, oh my goodness, she's in the Fast films, and I can't remember her name right now. Jordan Brewster, Jordana Brewster. She's in here. Uh... And for the most part, some other actors and actresses are in here, but... Uh, Richard Patrick, uh, T-1000, he's in here, too. Uh, my rating for the film, I seem to recall... I give it a 9 out of 10. Wasn't anything I didn't like. However, I felt... Maybe Jordana should... I felt it would have been cool if she had a little bit more screen time than what she was given with, but maybe she was filming fast when this came out. I don't know. Um, and I kind of felt like the football player, maybe he could have had a little bit more input or been a lot more central to the story than what ended up happening to him. I kind of felt like, eh, that was a little disappointing. Uh, the actor was fine. It's just the screen time for him as well. There wasn't anything that made me jump or anything. It was just more the su the surprise of the the person, you know, the the villain behind the curtain kind of thing. I think that was that was the biggest thing that I was like, you know, I think that's what made the film great. The film didn't drag at all. I don't recall. And I liked how it set up like, the best way to tell who was infected was the way the person's personality was beforehand. It was completely the opposite. So let's say if the coach, for example, Richard Patrick, is really nice in the film, but originally they say, oh, he used to be a hard ass and very in your face, yelling at you and stuff. But in the film, he's very... Larry laid back, very mellow. So that's how you can tell. So it alters the personality. So if somebody's really mean, now they're really nice. If somebody's really nice, now they're really mean. It was kind of one of those things that that's how you could kind of decipher. And then outside of that, music uh, reminded me kind of Scream. And I wouldn't be surprised if the people that did Scream, the first two, or maybe just the first one kind of did the music. Because I believe... Um, uh, the company that did uh, Scream did this film as well. I just forget their name right now, and I see that thing, that logo all the time. I would say, you know, if you just want to watch a sci fi film, kind of action, mystery, horror, mm, little slash comedy, check it out. It's an older film, but it's a good one. Um, and definitely, it's something you can watch with your spouse. It's not for kids, of course. I mean, there's no nudity, but still, it's not for kids. And outside of that, yeah. Overall, it was just an entertaining film. Entertaining flick. So that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.